Okay, so I'm going to tie you a wee fly that is a variant of the fluorescent green shrimp. The thread that I'm going to start off tying the fly with will be uni thread 80 white, and that's just to keep the two parts of the body as bright as possible. I'm just going to come in, get the thread started behind the eye of the hook, and then remove the waist tag. Now, the tag on the fly and the rib is going to be white. UTC wire, and that's it there. So I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to attach this underneath the hook, and then just pull the wire between the hook. And then I'm just going to work my thread down, tying in the wire. And I'm going to bring my thread down until I'm slightly past the, the point of the hook, and then I'm just going to come around with four turns of the white wire to there on the fifth turn just up and in between the two hooks and that will lock in your tag and it, just bend keeping your thread tight bend and break away the wire and we're cutting up the tail on the fly is going to be a golden pheasant breast feather dyed red so I'm just going to take all the fluff from the bottom of the feather and then just stroke back the fibers to reveal the tip and then just offer this up to the hook and I'm just going to come around with two turns to catch the feather in I'm going to fold back the tip and take two turns back over the tip on the haggle and keep a hold of your tip and come in and just clip that away and just fold these back and then we're just looking one turn in front of the other coming up now I'm just going to use the, the full feather up don't worry if it twists on you I'm going to sort that out in a second just bring my thread back down into position come around just catch in the stem nice and tight now I'm going to keep them wee bits in so I'm just going to fold them back and I'm going to get this stem just keep it on my side keep the body as smooth as possible it's going to go floss to there and then I can break the, the remainder of the hackle tip away so I'm just going to come in just get this brushed out get it sitting the way you like and then just fix it back now the rib on the fly is the same white wire by UTC so just come in and tie it in underneath just bring your wire underneath and then run your thread back down now the body and the fly is going to be this uni floss in chartreuse so i'm just going to take a length of that off just trim that away from the spool and then i'll come in and offer this up to the hook just pull it in the length of the body then just run your thread up to there and then just bring your floss work round just one turn just slightly overlapping the other to there just hold your floss come round with one turn to hold and then two turns will secure that in and then you can just trim the excess floss away and you can bring your wire up you can three turns on the floss to protect it to there. Hold your wire, fill it round with your thread, one turn to hold, two turns will secure it in, then just bend and break away the wire. Now the hackles on the fly are just cock bodger hackles. So I'm just gonna stroke the fibers back to reveal the tip. We'll come in two turns to catch the tip in, fold the tip back a couple of turns back up over the top of a tan on the tip and then you come in and just remove the tip just going to come in with my scissors and stroke back the fibers on the hackle stain turns a hackle entirely up to yourself just depends on the, the fibers and how good the hackle is now I usually stick in three so 
will stay with the, the three to there. I'm going to file it around with my thread. Nice and tight. Just keeping the, the feather on my side nice and tight. And you can keep your thread tight and break that off. Right, just bring my thread up the second part of the body which is there. Then just add in another length of your white wire. Just going to tie it in underneath again. Just bring it underneath and then I'm going to run my thread tight down up against the the mid haggle to there come back in with your length of your chartreuse floss you need floss just put it in the length of the body and just tighten up there and then just bring your floss up what's like with it with a with your body just one turn slightly overlapping the other to there follow it around with your thread one turn in the hole, two turns will secure that in. Just trim away the floss. Then we we'll can bring up our wire. We're going three turns of the white wire to there. Fill it around with your thread. A couple of turns will secure that in. Now just bend and break away the wire. Try not to cut it away, just blunt your scissors. Okay. Next haggle, same as the middle haggle, just the bodger cock haggle. Just going to tie this in, two turns down, fold the tip back, a couple of turns back up over. Just come in and remove the tip. Just come in with my scissors, stroking the haggles back on the stem. Then the turns of haggle are entirely up to you. Right. I'll probably put in three the same way I did at the midpoint. You put on as many as you like. Right. I'm just going to hold the hackle there, I'm just going to file it around with my thread. Put another turn in, now I'm going to fold these back. Fold everything back, it's going forward on the stem of the hackle. And I'm just going to get tight turns in. Nice tight turns into there. I'm going to keep my thread tight. Come in and break away the stem. Right, the head on the fly is black. So I'm going to switch over to Uni Thread 80 in black. I'm just going to simply tie over the white thread. Come in, remove your waist tag here, black. And then just come in and remove the white Uni Thread. Right. Me favour there, just fold it back. Just fold it back. Come in with a couple of tight turns now. There's jungle cock on the fly. Not too small eyes here for this wee size 12 hook. So just let me get them sorted out. I'll show you them. Now, that's in there. So just going to get them leveled up, just clear the tenon point, I'm just going to offer these up to the hook, just come around and hold them gently on the sides, and then come around with a couple of loose turns, and then you can come in and see what way you're sitting, let's right. pull this one in a wee bit, I just want to check before I get everything tied in. The jungle clock's not sitting right, you know. More than likely not face the fly. So I'm happy with that, so I'm just going to hold my jungle clock in place. And then come down with nice tight turns. With the thread, I'm going to fold these back. Just fold them back the stems of the jungle clock. Nice and tight, and just come in with tight turns of the, the thread to secure these in. Now I'm just going to come in with my scissors. I usually break these off but the stems are so small. Just come in with my scissors. 
and just remove the, the stems of the jungle cock. Okay, now we'll just tidy up our head a wee bit here. Just don't want any white thread showing through. So just tidy everything up. Just take your time. You're no rush to there. Keeping your thread tight. You can come in with your work finisher. And then just throw in a couple of whip finishes and you can tidy the head up at the same time. Put your thread tight. And then you can come in and just trim away your thread. Alright. Let's see what way we're sitting. Okay, happy enough with that. So, first coat. As always, super glue. <coughs> and this is just lactate super glue that I'm using. It comes with a brush. But there's other super glues out there that come with a brush. It's any super glue that comes with a brush over ground. So it's going to be dab on the head there. And then once that's dry, I'll come in and just varnish the coats of the head. So that's the, that's the fluorescent ship, the fluorescent green shrimp. That's a variant of it. Um, tie a few up. Hopefully, you can catch a few fish.